All right, I just got a little cup here. This is actually what the laundry detergent goes into. So I'm just gonna clean these all up. And then the same thing here with the other ends. This is where the new gaskets will go. Again, I just wanna make sure they're nice and clean. There's no gunk in there so that the new gaskets sit nice and flush against the plastic. After I do this, I'm gonna just run them under some, some water. Uh, just to really make sure anything that was on there gets rinsed off. All right, I'm also going to do the uh, insides here where those O-rings were. Again, just try to clean these out before putting the new ones in. Just so you get a nice, tight seal. You don't want anything leaking through here because I think that's that was my whole problem anyway was that I didn't have a tight seal. Something with these gaskets I was letting some water through and just kind of messing up the whole cycle. So I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. Even though it looks pretty good, this is the one that level four is the one that's been giving me problems. I hope, at least. <laughs> And then I was also going to go ahead and replace these two. Okay, so these, it looks like they just kind of poke in. Let me see. So I'm just uh, carefully unscrewing it. It doesn't look like it even needs a screw. Okay, so that's what we got. It's just a tip. And this piece is all rubber. So we'll just pull off the old ones. Let me make sure it's a good match first before I go too far with this. We know they're blue. Yeah, that's all looking like it's about the same size. And then notice too, the tip is going all the way through here. So this hasn't yet, on these new ones, it hasn't yet been pushed all the way through. So let's go ahead and pull these off. You know what, it might come off a little easier if I get them a little wet. All right, well, think about this a little more. I'm gonna squeeze it, and then try to pull it up. I think that'll work better. Well, it's amazing how well that plastic holds in there. There we go. So, again, out with the old. Keep those separate. And then, uh, one more. There we go. Let's give it a quick clean. Put these new guys on. Which of course they go on way, way easier than they come off. It's made for it. Here we go.
That was super easy. Bingo. All right, those are looking good. And these also have little O-rings on them around here. So let me just make sure those are nice and clean also. Even though they're new, I just wanna go ahead and get all this stuff off of them. Okay, now to put the new seals back on. So this one was my old one. Put that with my old stuff. And so I got one more of these, which actually would be right in here. So I should replace that too. And it does look like it needs it. You can see in there how this one's been pulled tight so many times. And it's much smaller at that end than this end. So now we know the drill. Ooh, this one's actually a little different. See here? It's got a little ball. So this one will actually come apart. Except it's all wet. I can't grab it right now, of course. So let's see how this is done. Okay, so you just kind of pull and turn. You see how it's got a tiny little tab right here, which will go in there and then turn and then go up. So I didn't want to pull on that and break it as I'm replacing. This little gasket here. I don't want to break it, so that's pretty tough. Whew, boy, that's so scary because this piece is so small. There we go. You'd actually hear it click a little bit when it came all the way through. So this goes in and then it turns and then goes up. Okay, so that's back in and it goes in pretty good. 
So now I'm going to put the gaskets back on these guys. Uh, it'll make it a little easier if I get them a little wet first. A little soapy wet. And then we want to make sure that they're straight. You see how this one I didn't get it on straight? That's not going to work. So I need to kind of work it around. And then to straighten it up, I'd take something like this, almost like a guitar pick, and just run on the inside there. And now we can see that we're flush all the way through. So let's do all four of these. Also kind of cleaning these off before I put them in. That one went on just fine. Now we'll do these, which are these wide ones that were really a pain in the butt to get off. Should be going on much easier. Let's see here. I don't want to bend these for sure as I put them on because it's not going to be as easy. Okay, well I got that one on. The way to do it, it's kind of like putting on a, a tire on a rim. It's good to have it moist. And you start just on one side, make sure you get that in. And then I'm taking my fingernails. It's good to have a little bit of fingernails as you're doing this. You know, don't, don't cut your nails the day before you want to work on this. And I'm just going around both sides and make sure that it's in the whole way. As I go around. There we go. All right, next we're going to put the uh, seals back in here, the four of them, the little ones that go inside. So just like squeeze in one side, keep working around. your finger at the bottom so it can't poke all the way through. And then I need something to kind of go around. Make sure we're in straight because it does not look like we are. Oh, there we go. See, that one's kind of poking out a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There we go. That's better. Now, we should be able to put these guys back in. 
Um, before we do this, actually, what I want to do, all of these gaskets, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off with cold water and then uh, put some, some plumber's grease on all of the new gaskets that I'm doing and even the old ones too. I'm just going to go ahead and, and grease them up and get the soapy, the soapy stuff off, um, rinse off any other things that I think um, you know, look like they might be, be dirty. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and use this, uh, the plumber's grease and start putting things back together. More seal I'm going to change real quick. That's this one. Because it looks like this one was made for that there. That's the one that I missed so far. And if you can use plastic, that's going to be safer. Just up over the top. And I want to clean that. You can see it's kind of got some crud in there. So just like the others, we'll clean out the inside of this. Wash that one up. Yeah, we'll get it on here. Make sure it's straight all the way around, looking good. Now put this back in. Got a tiny, tiny spring in there. See that? And how it's kind of going sideways? I'm gonna to need to get that back in line. Get that down back at the bottom before I, uh, before I put this back together. I'd be really careful not to have this shoot off somewhere and lose that. way better okay so where this piece sticks up that's where the seal goes that's what I kept using to remember it and then it goes on this way and then turns and then goes on more and then up it turns a little bit and now we're in Okay, now I want to grease these guys up. Got my grease. Again, this is just standard plumber's grease. Nothing fancy. Got the goop. So quickly, story time. Uh, this was the grease that a local uh, plumber shop gave me as I was buying O-rings. So I didn't think twice about it. I figured it was a silicone grease and it was safe for O-rings since I was buying it. But this doesn't specifically say silicone on it. And I noticed reading the instructions here, um, if this will focus, it says that this product is not intended for use on O-rings or other plastic or rubber parts. This is actually a petroleum product. So I am not happy about this. Fortunately, I saw this before too long 
because I put this all over the inside of my water softener. So I got to take this apart now and use a silicone grease instead of this petroleum grease because the petroleum is going to eat through these O-rings over time. It's going to eat through the plastic. I got to get it out of here. I'm really not happy with my, my local uh, plumber store about this. Um, why would they give me uh, this grease as I am buying O-rings? I'm, I'm quite frustrated. But anyway, um, don't use this stuff on your water softener. Use the silicone grease. Question is, how am I going to get in there? Um, I think I'll just use this little piece of plastic. But it should keep these gaskets nice and fresh. And this actually does have moving parts because this is where the pistons go. So it should help that keep a nice seal even as the pistons are moving up and down. And I'm going to go ahead and grease this one up too. Let's use my finger. We'll get them all, huh? Now I'm going to go ahead and put the pistons back in.